Hi guys, I am filling spring rolls for dinner tonight, but not just your typical spring roll like shrimp and pork. Uh, it gets really boring to me. So today I'm making catfish, steamed catfish spring rolls. It's not too familiar uh, with a lot of people, but it's one of my favorite. And to me, it's healthy, different, and delicious. Now let's get started. This is my catfish spring rolls. I love eating catfish spring rolls. It's just different. I think it's healthier and it's just yummy in general. I have here some lettuce, cucumber, and mint. Here's some of my pickled carrots and daikon. I also made two types of dipping sauce. One is fish sauce and this one is anchovy sauce. Well, my kids call this butt sauce. It smells really bad. I mean, but it tastes so good. You guys should give this a try. I hope you guys get some catfish and try this out. Okay, let's make fish sauce for dipping sauce for the spring roll. I have some fresh chopped garlic here. I'm gonna use one tablespoon. Of garlic and then this is fresh chili I like everything spicy so I'm gonna add close to one tablespoon of this but with the chili you can adjust to your own spice level okay this is sugar I'm gonna add four tablespoons of sugar one two three and four. And then a little bit of MSG. If you don't like it, you don't you don't have to have it, but I like it. So this is one fourth uh, teaspoon MSG. And then four tablespoons of fish sauce. One, two, three and four and here I have some water I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of water one two and three here is some fresh squeezed lime add in two tablespoons of lime juice one and two okay now we're going to mix everything up and that's it that is it guys oh my god look how red my uh, dipping sauce is because i like everything spicy i mean you don't you don't have to put this much but you know i like everything spicy so this is good for me okay you mix everything up and that's it done Okay, I'm going to share with you my second dipping sauce, and this is my favorite dipping sauce for this type of spring roll. Um, this is the brand I use. Well, you can use other brands if you want, but this is this is what I like right here. And they also have the pre-mix kind, but I don't like the taste of the pre-mix stuff. It's just not my, my taste. I like to just, you know, do it my own way. And this is how I make this booty sauce this is anchovy sauce but it's so stinky but it's so yummy my kids call them butt sauce haha <laughs> okay here I'm gonna add in um, two tablespoons of fresh garlic and some fresh chili as always I'm just gonna do a little bit because my husband cannot stand the spice and then a little MSG. You don't have to put it if you don't want to. Half a cup of sugar. Don't be shy on the sugar because this here is very, very salty. It's like so salty. So don't be shy on the sugar. I have in here some just regular vinegar. And add in one fourth cup of just plain vinegar. And I have here one can of crushed pineapple 
if you have the fresh one, you can go ahead and use the fresh one. But I have here one whole can and then adding in this whole bottle of anchovy sauce. It's really hard. It's a little hard to um, pour out. So what you do is you use a chopstick and just poke, you know, all the way in. Stir it up a little bit and then slowly pour. Pour away from you so this won't splash on you, okay? You don't want this thing on, on your shirt, trust. Okay, get everything out. All right. Trust me, this is so stinky, but it's so damn good. Okay, make sure I get everything out. Okay, now you mix everything up. Carefully mix everything up. And then add in half a cup of just water. Okay, now mix everything up. And then anchovy sauce is ready. And that's it. I like it with a lot of pineapple, but if you don't like a lot of pineapple, you can just add half a can. But I always add a whole can for for a whole bottle of this. All done. Yesterday I made gum tam and I did a quick pickle, daikon, and carrot. It's really easy, let me show you. Uh, it's just part, equal parts of vinegar and sugar. For one small daikon, and I used three carrots, three medium-sized carrots. Uh, I added half a cup of sugar and half a cup of vinegar and just mix it up and leave it for like uh, 30 minutes and you have your pickle, daikon, and carrots. You don't need to add any water, just vinegar and sugar and leave it for 30 minutes. Today I bought two catfish but I'm gonna steam it one at a time. Uh, it was live, it's good eats. Okay, I'm gonna start to steam this fish here. Uh, you don't need to marinate or do anything to the fish. Just have it clean and ready to go. I have here a big wok. Fill it up with some water. Just a little bit of water, not too much. And fish is on this little plate like this. Turn on the heat. Have a little rack. This thing on. Place it on here, just like this. I'm going to steam this fish for about 25 minutes or, or until fully cooked, depending on the size of uh, the fish. This is pretty small. Uh, that's why I got two today, because they didn't have any big one. So I'm just going to do this for 25 minutes. Okay, or until fully cooked. Let's make onion oil for this. I have here one bunch of uh, green onion. Just add in about mm, two tablespoons of oil, any oil of choice. And then just add in a little pinch of salt, just a little bit. And then same amount, pinch of sugar. Okay, now mix it up and microwave for one minute. Okay, this is done cooking. Next step, green onion oil. I'm just gonna spread it, spread, spread this on. Okay, just like this. A lot of green onion oil is good. The more, the better in my opinion. Okay. All right. I have here some cilantro. I'm just going to garnish to make it look pretty and it's also good to eat. OK. 
Okay, put some of that on. This is like the easiest meal and the quickest meal and also healthy. And then some fried shallots. You cannot forget about this one. It's not going to be good without this. And a lot of this too. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Beautiful. All done. Okay, this is how I roll. Lettuce. I like a lot of greens. Here I just have some mint and fish mint. I love fish mint. I like a lot of fish mints. Cucumber. I like chives. And then some pickle, carrots, and daikon. Some fish. Mmm. Just look at this. Juicy, moist. Just like this. And then I like to roll down. Some people like do it like this, but for me, this is. Uh, easier going down like this and then you got to tuck both sides so nothing falls out and then keep rolling make sure it's tight and done I am ready to taste I have two dipping sauce here I cannot wait I've been craving for this all day okay I'm gonna first try uh, the fish sauce Okay. Ooh, dip. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Wow. Mmm. It's just a lot of flavor. We got the sweet and sour crunchiness from the daikon and carrots. Sweet and sour from the fish sauce. I love this because it's really light and healthy in my opinion okay now I'm gonna uh, try the anchovy sauce I really like the anchovy sauce uh, better with this type of roll I don't know it just tastes better to me make sure I get the pineapple on there okay try this mm-hmm mm. mm. Mm-hmm. Next level. Next, next level. Wow. You know, I feel good eating this because it's fish. It's real healthy for you. And if you have not tried the anchovy sauce, you should. It's really good. It just smells a little bit off, but it tastes amazing. Well, I hope you guys try out my steamed catfish spring roll. It's really, really good. I promise you that. I'll see you next time and follow for more.